Okay, so we are kind of in some BLM over here across from the Grand Tetons. So today we went up here all the way through the Tetons National Park up to the south entrance of Yellowstone. We hit the south entrance of Yellowstone. Um, we went up and just stayed over here in the southwest part. So we went up through West Thumb, up to Bridge Bay, and uh, the upper and lower waterfalls all the way up to Canyon Village. And then when we came back, we hit the uh, mud pots along here. Here they are, the mud pots and the sulfur craters. So we just did this section of Yellowstone. Yellowstone's kind of like this big circle. Um, last year we kind of did this area. So this year we're doing down here with the waterfalls and stuff. For all you schoolie fans, this is cool. Look at this old guy. Pretty neat. Must be the old one they used to use. That is so neat. I must still use it. It's licensed. A little flexible. Pretty neat. Imagine getting one of these and doing a schoolie bus on that one. That would be fun. Be high clearance. Probably because it's here in Jackson Lake. Pretty darn neat. Ohio. Pretty neat. through Yellowstone Park, uh, Canyon Village, as we go by Yellowstone Lake. Um, not much traffic, we're in the morning, but well, it's about 1040 now. We left it this morning from campsite. It's just been a really pleasant drive. So we'll probably just show you this part of Yellowstone. Last time we saw the other part of Yellowstone. We kind of find stopping here for a few days and just looking a couple days and just stop once a year here or something. That seems to be what we enjoy, you say? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think coming in earlier June, too, is better than late July. Yeah. Certainly less people here. There's still snow in the mountains. Yeah, <laughs> so it's, up, it's pretty. So, it's pretty. cool, not hot. Wolf back there. But about 15 people decided to stop to right take a picture of it. So, Ooh. Ooh. so decided to enjoy it by our view and not too many people but at least we got to see it I guess. Yeah. The cow elks. Oh yeah the cow elks. But they were on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> oh it looks like some geysers over here. Yeah. Well then so Oh yeah you can smell it for sure. Maybe we'll check it out on the way back. There's buffalo way over there, if you can see them. I'd have to have a supersonic lens like my friend Tammy. So this is the Upper Falls, Yellowstone Upper Falls, we're going to go check out. And we'll show you the pretty side of Yellowstone, and then the reality side is there's lots of people, and this is a slow day, so... National parks are nice, but sometimes you have to be prepared for crowds.
the yellow bus. Oh, cool. It looks like it's time to head out. The crowds are coming. My gosh. Look at this. So, we're gonna head home, have a picnic somewhere. Dragon's Mouth Spring. Spring. Game of Thrones, that's where the dragon went. <laughs> <laughs> giant hot tub. <laughs> wonder how hot it is. You can hear this bubbling. The jacuzzi one. Yeah. Steam coming off here. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, it smells so bad. Whew. I'm sure that hot water's going in the river. Well, did you enjoy Yellowstone? Yeah, it's good. I think it's nice taking a section at a time. Yeah, I definitely agree. An earlier is better. Yeah. We're almost through the Grand Tetons, back to the camper. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of driving. Realize how big it is. It's huge. It's huge. <laughs> it's epic. <laughs> yeah. It sure is. Then we'll head out tomorrow morning sometime, I think, right? Yeah. Today's Sunday, yes. You forget what day it is. Yeah. 